Sanu, I am Jessalyn. Let's dive into the latest what's new in DevTools in Chrome 133, 134, and 135. Wait a second. Did something just... I think there is a little... Um, glitch? glitch? Ah, no worries. Sure, it will be fixed with my next release. Let's get started. After AI Assistant's for styling, network, sources, and performance landing in Chrome 132, we have listened to your feedback and added some small quality of life improvements. Conversations in the AI Assistant's panel are now persisted locally on your device, so you don't lose them, even after closing Chrome. Click the history icon in the top left corner of the AI Assistant's panel to show a list of your past conversations. Select any conversation from the list to restore it. Since the conversation context element might be gone by now, you can continue past chats. Use the trash can icon to delete all of them. For AI assistance for performance, we learned you want to chat with more than just one activity from a performance profile. While your chat is going, you can now select any other activity from the same profile and continue the conversation. No need to start a new one. But we also brought a bunch of non-AI improvements to performance debugging. What do you think, Jess? With the performance panel, we want to make it easy for you to focus on your own code and not the things you have little control over anyway, like third-party code. So for better focus, you can now add irrelevant scripts to the ignore list right here. Type a regular expression in the input field. The flame chart will apply the new rule as you type and automatically collapses matching scripts. Out of sight, problem solved, right? Not really. You still want to keep a good overview and understanding of what is running on your website, where it's coming from, and how it may impact performance. A new table in the summary tab makes that easy. Move over entries in the table to see the relevant events highlighted in the performance trace. Check dim third parties to focus only on the first party data. You can click the three icon when hovering over an entry to switch to the bottom up tab. With so many more details, making performance traces even more worth looking into, we also wanted to make sure they are a charm to navigate and make it easy for you to look deep in and left and right. Whoa, that was so close. Now, to explain the modern keyboard navigation, you can navigate performance profiles using your mouse and keyboard. For the longest time, you could scroll up and down to zoom in and use the arrow keys to navigate left and right. Today, this doesn't match how you navigate canvases in other modern tools. So we introduced an optional modern keyboard layout. In this modern layout, scroll to navigate up and down Hold the Shift key during scroll to navigate left and right, and hold the Command key while scrolling to zoom in and out. No matter how far you zoomed in, all you see are tiny narrow lines. Then your machine might just be too fast. Even long tasks are performed in a split second. But not all of your users will browse your site with the same powerful device you use for development. Calibrated CPU throttling presets can help you to experience your site like a user on a low-end or mid-tier device would. To enable calibrated CPU throttling presets, go to the new Performance Panel landing page. In the Environment Settings, enter the CPU dropdown and select Calibrate. This opens the DevTools settings. In the CPU throttling preset section, click Calibrate, and then continue to start the calibration process. After a few seconds, the process is finished and you can go back to the performance panel to use them. But enough of performance now. Let's move on to styling. Thanks, Matthias. Starting with Chrome 134, DevTools now supports freezing the open pseudo class. When inspecting an applicable element, like Details, Select, or Dialog, go to the Styles tab and open the State menu. Toggle the open pseudo class to force the open state independent of your other interactions with the page. Talking of pseudo, the elements panel also support the new pseudo elements that bring CSS carousels to life. To learn more about CSS carousels, 
be sure to check out this link. Did you notice the new floating icon in the Elements panel? That's right, you can now toggle between the DOM tree or the Accessibility tree view. The new Full Accessibility tree synchronizes with the DOM tree so you can switch back and forth between the two trees. We hope that the new tree will be more explorable, useful, and easier to use. Previously, you could only explore a single node and its ancestors in the Accessibility tab. To learn more about the Accessibility tree and how to utilize it, check out this link. Mm, Matthias, you are taking privacy a little too seriously lately. I take everything seriously that DevTools takes seriously. With the updated security panel, which is now the privacy and security panel. With the new privacy section, we give you a direct and quick control on cookies. Open the privacy and security panel and click controls in the privacy section. Toggle the checkboxes to temporarily limit third-party cookies with or without exceptions and test how a website behaves. Click third-party cookies to get a quick overview of the same and see whether they were blocked or exempted by the temporary limit mode and what type of cookies may be impacted. All right, it's time for the bonus tip. What if you can copy all the console logs with one click instead of copying them one by one? Go to the console and right click. In the context menu, select Copy Console to copy all currently display messages at once. This is especially helpful if you want to use them with Gemini or share with someone else. Finally, that's all for today. Thanks for watch, 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 watching. watching. Huh? How did I end up here? Well, actually, that doesn't look too bad here. You know what? Maybe after 40 international greetings and episodes, it's time for me to move on. I will hand this over to Matthias for a while. See ya! Hey, do you all know where Jess is? Should I do the art for that? Well, OK. Don't forget to check out our blog and explore all the latest updates. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.